Welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 4. So this is a game I'm absolutely going to be recording in chunks. Um, just because I love this series so much. Uh, down at the bottom left you can see the general layout. Also, we leveled up our walking skill. The game was not kidding about that. Vitality went up by one because we walked around. Comedy game. Um, I should make sure I actually use these seeds. I did it. You'll see, we are draining our RP pretty quickly. Three, seven, eight. Oh, I did one extra here. Oh well. You can also, you know, drag things around here. This was a lot more intuitive on a touch screen. Uh, you can hold circle to charge with tools once they level up or with seeds to distribute them more. You can't really charge um, the base level tools. That's the main upgrade you get when ranking them up. But um, yeah, you gain a lot of skills very quickly at the start. Uh, you also gain water and earth um, by tilling the soil and watering. It's You also gain love, which is also an element. So yeah, you're going to gain a lot of skills very quickly. Uh, luckily, you're not getting like a bajillion stat points, so it's not like you're ridiculously overpowering. But um, we have eight more max HP. We have not gained a single experience point level. <laughs> uh, if you look at the map, you can see where people are. Thank God. You still look sleepy. Hello, Forte. I feel an unfamiliar presence. Huh? <laughs> ah! Hmm? Oh, it was you last. My apologies. I'm glad I did not cut you down. Um... My, manners. my name is Forte. I serve the Holy Lady Ventuswill as her faithful Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight? Ah, that's right. You're missing all your memories. Yeah. Oh, goodness. My apologies. I hope I've not spoken too indelicately. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Still, it was an inappropriate topic for me to bring up. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway. Dragon Knights. As the name suggests, it is my duty to protect Lady Ventus' will. On paper, at least. Huh? The power of a mere human is nothing compared to hers. She hardly requires the help of one. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Yes. Didn't know Ventus was that powerful. So, though I hold the title of Dragon Knight, in truth, my duty is to guard this town. If you should have any problems, please feel free to come speak with me. I will do whatever I can to help. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Good morning. Good day, Your Majesty. Seems you've greeted everyone in town. Hey. Sophia is a marvelous place. I'm sure you'll grow to love it in no time. Yeah, you had to greet people manually in the original release, like in every other game. Why did you say finally? <laughs> Is this the request box? It doesn't look like a box. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Aliza. Huh? Who is that? Where are you? What? You can hear me. I can, but I don't see you. I'm right in front of your face. Whoa, the request box is talking to me. Maybe I should go to the clinic. No, that won't be necessary. I'm Eliza the request box. I'm ever so glad you can hear me. Now listen up. Inside me is a list of all the important requests everyone has made. Because let's face it, everyone needs help sometimes. You can't solve all of them at once. No, no. So I'll help you solve them one by one. You got that? Okay. Hmm. You're quite smart. Let's start by trying it out. Try taking a request. Let's start with this one. Request. Come to the order symbol in Castle Dragon Room. Reward. Dr turnip seed. First task. Write it down. Okay. I wrote down the request. the details of the request in my notebook. Good, good. Well done. By the way, you can check your current request by accessing the notebook. The notebook can be opened by pressing the touchpad. If you find the request to be too difficult, you may cancel it from the notebook. 
Well, that should be enough explaining for one day. Your head is liable to explode. Start by going to Castle Dragon Room right away. Oh, I think I actually need to do... No? Oh, left side of the touchpad. Requester, Elisa. Check the order symbol. The order symbol is this thing. So, this is the order symbol, right? What am I supposed to be looking at exactly? List. You checked for requests at the request box, yes. I assume. Oh, no, yes. Thank you, very much. Thank you very much for coming here. I've been trying to find you, and I'd like to discuss your duties as prince. What do you mean? The main role of a prince is to give directives to help shape the future of the nation. Those directives are regarded as orders. This is a place where you can make your orders. Orders? I think it would be easier to understand if you simply try it. Please, make an order with these. Receive 50 Prince Points. What are these? These are the points you'll need to spend to make orders. I don't know, like, how he's supposed to be physically gifting them to us. The representative of your skill and reputation as a bona fide Prince. You can make many different kinds of orders by using these Prince Points. Prince Points. Well, oh, give them a try. Choose any order you like. Okay, got it. Let's begin my prince duties. Title, Apprentice Prince. Tourists, zero. Development. New backpack upgrades our backpack to the standard size of 30. Let's do it. Order. I upgraded my backpack. Now I can carry more items. You finally made an order. I did. Easy, wasn't it? Just use your prince points to make an order. And whatever you ask of your loyal subjects, it will come to pass without fail. Isn't that a little oppressive, though? Am I well to be done without any question, I mean? But you're a prince. Prince, huh? What's wrong? I just don't want to make people mad by being too demanding, you know? This whole thing feels really selfish, I guess. No need to worry about that. It's not as if you can do absolutely anything you want, yeah, after all. It sounds like I can, though. Not as long as there are prince points you can't. Put simply, Prince Points show how much people trust you as a prince. As you complete requests from the request box, you'll earn more. In short, it's only when people trust you that you can save up enough to matter. It takes a lot of points to affect any sort of major change. So if you're not trusted or well-liked, your powers are very limited. I see. Just think of it this way. If you have enough points to give an order, then you've earned the right to get that order. And, since you've now completed my request, allow me to give you these as a token of my gratitude. You should have noticed that your Prince Points just went up. What? How do I check? According to the Royal Guide, let's see. Look on the upper right of the screen. What does that mean exactly? It sounds strangely meta, actually. Note that you don't usually earn this much from one request. There's just one more thing I want you to do, and it will require a large number of points. So I added a bit of bonus. A show of confidence in you, as it were. Oh? What do you want me to do? Well, let's go on to the next request, shall we? The next request is to increase the number of tourists in this town by making an order. Tourists? Indeed. Money goes where the people go, after all. And the more money you make, the more you can develop the country. The role of the prince is to make a, this country a better place to be. And simply put, to accomplish that, tourists are absolutely essential. Alright, that makes sense. So, let's hold a festival to attract tourists, shall we? Festival? This is another one of those things you'll likely learn a bit easier but simply by doing. Try to order a festival. I think it would be easier to choose a festival you can hold as soon as possible. That way you'll get a feel for the whole process much more quickly. So yeah, this is kind of your unlock system. You can do the cooking contest on the 6th, bean toss contest on the 10th, defluffing festival on the 19th, or the turnip festival summer 11th. I'm going to do the bean toss contest because that is much easier for us to actually do the start of the game. The event will occur on Spring 10th, and this unlocks it for every year. Good afternoon. Well done. You attracted more tourists by getting the town's name out there. And if the festival is a rousing success, like if you participate in it personally and really boost spirits, then you'll attract even more tourists. This town will become a booming metropolis in no time. I see. So, uh, what exactly is Apprentice Prince exactly? That's your title. The present prince title is determined by the number of tourists. 
As you advance in rank, you'll be able, be able to issue more and more complex orders. The more tourists you bring in, the more the town will develop, and the more new items you'll be able to purchase. For example, new vegetable and flower seeds, stronger weapons, more reliable armor, which will also help you complete more complex requests. Best of luck to you, yes. Your Majesty. Uh, thanks. Well, that does it for my explanation of Prince's work, so I guess my job is done. You should check the request box every day, though. It's very, very important. Now, if you'll excuse me. He's not kidding. Request completed. Uh, completing requests also nets you these chests. Um, sometimes it's a random reward, sometimes it's a set one. Let's go ahead and equip that. Because I need to hit you and dang. It's hard to be very clean about your farm early on before you get uh, the axe and hammer. Alright. Let's see. Anyway, that's all for now. Well done. Give you a new request next time. By the way, I check the requests. I have to place furniture. Press wait until morning, I treat. You can only do one request a day. So... We have a couple of options now. We can just go around town and talk to people, or we can try to leave town. Let's try leaving town for the time being. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Lest. Hi, um... That's right, I haven't given you my name yet, have I? I'm Nancy. Pleased yes. to meet you. I'm Lest, it's my pleasure. My, my, how formal. You need it be, sweetie, you can relax here. Oh, well, then if you insist. Well, it's much easier said than done, I'm sure. Don't you worry. Huh? Take it easy and get used to things a little at a time. There's no rush. You'll find that everyone here is kind and easygoing. But there are a few nosy old ladies around like me. I see. Oh. Oh, but please don't call me an old lady to my face, okay? That would hurt my feelings. <laughs> and we can, of course, check these bi characters' bios. Let's see. Forte, who you can see she has a heart, which means that she is a marriage candidate. A female knight guarding the town inherited her father's title after his death. Stubborn, easily flustered when the subject of sweets come up. Comes up, but dependable, and often spoils her younger brother, Keel. Nancy... Wife of Dr. Jones and nurse at the local clinic. Loves her husband immensely and always strives to be the best wife she can be for him. Sweet, kind, and always considerate of patients' feelings. And Vulcanon. Familiar with farming and battles, but a bit wordy. Charismatic, imaginative, and emotional, so he's often seen in tears. Manly tears. Yeah, let's pop on down. May I? Ah, Lest. A uh, her proper intro. Animation style in those feels very classic. Are you going somewhere? There are monsters outside of town, so it's dangerous to be wandering around. Monsters? Yes. You can avoid them mostly, but sooner or later you may have to fight. Meaning, I'd have to cut them down. That's right. Can we all just get along? You're sweet, Last. Huh? No, I just mean... Don't worry. Defeating monsters doesn't mean you're killing them. What? The weapons and farm tools we use have a special magic called Tamataya passed upon them. This Tamataya prevents our attacks from actually harming the monsters, instead sending them to the Forest of Beginnings. That's interesting. Uh, in 1 and 2, uh, they were forged with Cleria, which was a... Was it Cleria? Or is that... Am I thinking of Ease? There's a specific metal that they forge into it that has the same effect. Force of Beginnings. That's the world in which the monsters live. They enter our world through roads called gates. Let's see. To send them back to the Force of Beginnings, you'll need a weapon with the Tamataya spell cast upon it. You have such a weapon in your possession? You do. Looks like you're all set then. Still, give this one a try as well. You might like it. Seed Claymore. Long swords are highly effective and cover large areas. You can attack multiple monsters at once too. 
This downside is a slow swing, which leaves you vulnerable to counterattacks. So try to anticipate your enemy's moves and use it accordingly. This is a Souls-like! It's not. Thank you very much. Weapons are important partners that you can trust with your life. You should find out for yourself which weapon suits you best. I will. I think that does it for the explanations. However, I must ask you one more thing before you leave. How confident are you in your own skills? Uh, this decides your difficulty. <laughs> I am become death! Yeah, easy, normal, hard, and hell mode. I'm just gonna choose normal. Eh, I'm decent ish. You know, set the difficulty level to normal. The enemies around here are fairly harmless, so don't worry. But should you require my help, please let me know. Oh, and one more thing. When the enemy's strength overwhelms you, gaze upon the trophy in the castle basement. Huh? I'm not sure what it means, but it's a charm we knights have passed down for quite some time. Should you become overwhelmed, it might be worth trying. Uh, okay, thanks. This strength overwhelms you. Gaze upon the trophy in the castle basement. Oh, what? Was that it? I'll try not to forget. Now, there's something I'd like to give you, if I may. Um, is this? You must always strive to carry food with you when you're leaving the town. By eating food, you'll gain benefits such as health restoration and timed skill boosts. These benefits change depending on the type of food you eat. I'll keep that in my mind. My apologies for being so nosy. Please, be careful. We look at the bread she gave us. Heals 400 HP and 120 RP. Strength plus 4, vitality plus 4, int plus 4. I think the buff... Only the first thing you eat per day you get the buff from, I think. Staple food for many. You can toast it, stuff it, stick things between it, or eat it any other way you like. However... We have kind of a decently sized world map here. Uh, to the west of town, there are uh, medicinal herbs that spawn every so often. Which is always nice to pick up if you're a little low on healing supplies. Uh, there's a little bit of random... Wow. Material stone. Okay. Um, how much... Is that literally one? Sounds like you need to build buildings. All you keep a load of them in stock, they'll absolutely come in handy. Yeah, that's a single stone. That's really funny. Um, skill. Let's see. They're searching. Increases when you open treasure chests or find hidden items. There are specific spawn points for hidden items. I don't really know where they are. Uh, leadership. Uh, as you lead a party of fellow adventurers. Also, as you talk to people. Uh... Oh, I level up farming. I thought... I guess foraging isn't a thing in this game. These logs are kind of blocking the way to force us down in this direction. And this is our first enemy, a wooly. They don't do much of anything. But if we look at our skills, we got short sword up to level one. Uh, we will eventually be wanting to tame Lulis, but that's not something we can do quite yet. Experience level up gives us a little bit of everything. Uh, this is a dungeon entrance. Yokomir Forest, mid level 2. We can confirm monsters. Careful not to get tackled by a wild beetle. And obtainable items. So this tells you the things you should be able to get from gathering. Uh, that's also a lily, it's just been shaved. Or sheared. Small fur. Some green grass. This is going to open up clearly at some point. Uh, if we look at the fur, Wooly's fur used as yarn. Uh, you can see I can sell it for six gold. Sort. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I can do combat-wise. You'll notice you do gain a little bit of print point in for defeating monsters. That Wooly just wandered off. Uh, okay, we don't have charge attacks yet. 
Kind of just wanting to hit level 3 here. There we go. Uh, just because that'll give me a little more RP and stuff. Which will help in the coming days. Uh, we're going to have more structure as we go on, but right now we're just kind of getting used to things. So yeah, in town you can see this is the housing area where there's also a blacksmith and the um, doctors. We go over here, there's actually a lake where we can fish if we have a fishing rod. We talked to Forte today. Hop into the clinic. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. It's last, right? Um, yes, um, my name is Jones. I'm the town doctor. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Jones. I'm last. Yes, I know. Oh, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. It's nice to meet you, too. By the way, have you managed to remember anything yet? No, I see. Memories are a strange thing. You never know what may trigger them to return. It doesn't need to be an earth-shattering revelation. It could be any little thing. There's no need to rush or force things. Relax and wait. They will return. Uh, thank you. All sorts of cookbooks and picture books here. No one's up here but can examine. Table set for two people. There are many seasonings and spices here in the kitchen. A well cared for potted plant is placed here. It almost seems to be staring out at the room. A lot of documents piled up here. This is where Dr. Jones sleeps. I prescribe myself sleep! Dancy's been. Flee the sea! <laughs> Some of the freaking prompts. <laughs> They're really good. Tiny Bandage Clinic. Open from 9 to 6. Hello. Oh, oh hey, it's Lest. Hmm? The whole town was talking about you already. They say you're the person who just moved here from up in the sky. Wait, what? So why did you decide to move down here if you were living high up? Air too thin? Uh, well... Oh yeah, that's right. They also said you lost all your memories. Sorry. Sorry. It wasn't very nice of me to bring that up, was it? It's okay. Well, if there's ever anything you want to know more about, come ask this me. Whole area for a long time now. I know more about it than anyone else who lives here. Oh, and I like hearing about things from other people, too. So if you're curious about any rumors, I could probably fill you in on those, too. Really? Thanks. If you have any questions you'd like to ask? Well... What should I call you? <laughs> Oops, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Keel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. By the way, have you met my sister yet? Her name's Forte. Oh, and we can press, uh... L1 or R1 to bring up, uh, things like, Hey, join my party. See, she's a knight. She tries really, really hard to act like a proper one, too. But secretly, she loves sweets and is really scared of ghosts and stuff. She'll deny it if you ask, though. She's just like that. Oh, I see. Um, Kiel, do you not get along with your sister very well? Huh? What makes you ask that? Oh, nothing. You get along great, actually. Ah. You now, when you like a person, you want to learn all about them, right? I hope I get to learn a lot about you, Lest. Um, sure. Just go easy, okay? Hey, um... Is that actually just how proposals work in this game? There's a vacant house here. On the wall, there's a family photo, and on the shelf, there's some fruit and a water jug. This must be Forte and Keel's place. There are cute dishes here. There are dishes and seasonings on the shelf above me. Yep. I just have to sleep here. I just have to run away. Run away! It's Keel's bed. Aw, let's sleep. Here we have the Blacksmith Meanderer. Has different hours on holiday. Buy whatever you need. I respect the honor system. Beto. Hello. Oh, it's you. Hello, Les. 
best. Like How goes your voyage? It's going fine. Wow, I see. I knew I was right in leaving those chores to you. Oh, it's not much. Of course, I shall assist you as much as I possibly can, Arthur. So do not worry so much, all right? I look forward to good things from you in the future, Lest. Thank you. Wait, did they add... In the 3DS game, at least, it was straight marriage only. There's alcohol here. Spado's bed. Back away slowly. Welcome. Hi, and you are? Lest, it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, you're the new kid who has some memory issues, right? I'm Beto. I operate the forge. Forging stuff is really exhausting, so I don't do it too much. What? So, have you remembered anything yet? I'm afraid not. Oh, well how about you try buying this then? What is it? Memory recovery medicine. What? Really? Sorry. Huh? All I want to do is make lots of money without working much. But you know, I never really liked taking advantage of people either. So don't go falling for great deals that sound too good to be true, okay? Sorry. Sorry. It's giving off a lot of heat. Let's take a peek. You won't be able to afford anything. So you sell... Broadsword, Claymore, Longsword that's easy to swing, has a fun ring on it you can play with, but don't try it at home. Spear, a very simple spear, good for beginners. So it's simple, it's off. Uses gear for food. Leather boots, three defense. Leather boots made for travelers, tough and durable. Small shield, three defense. Small shield, easy to use, low defense capability. And a headband, one defense. Headband from the Far East, tie it around your forehead when you want to feel awesome. Then we can look at farm tools. Uh, you can get, like, the hammer, the axe, the sickle, stuff here, but you will get it for free. So it's... I don't know the purpose of that, really. Um, not terribly concerned about, like, buying gear right now. These scenes are animated very, like, 90s, early 2000s, and I like that. Gah! Oh, it's just you. Um, hello. What is it? Yes? Yeah. Nothing. You kind of seem all stuffy and formal. Is everyone in the royal family like that? Hey. Lighten up, it's fine. Um, okay. but... I mean it. Yeah. Well, if you insist. Not that I'm actually royalty, but... Yes! Great! Yes. So, do you remember my name? Right. Doug. You do, I awesome. The general store with Granny Blossom, if you've met her. <laughs> We've got lots of stuff, so stop on by and buy See something, ya. okay? Anyway, it's good to meet you. Doug's a little bit of a bastard boy. Um, no one else here, really. Who's that? Hello. Oh, that's just Nancy. Hello. Uh, let's check out the high road back here. Or the airship way, as it's called. This is the ocean. There's some ships out there, too. I see a small town dotted with farms. I can see an island on the sea. What kind of people live there? Island on the sea and ocean. I think this is specifically saying, hey, this is east of the Tides of Destiny section. Dotted with farms. If that's on an island, that's... No, that might be... I don't remember how Frontiers ends for that to work. Never mind. If we look up here, we have a very traditional hotel. Welcome. Um... Lin Fa? West. Hi. Hello there. My name is Lin Fa. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, now that I think about it, this isn't the first we've met, is it? No, but I was kind of in a rush before. Oh my, so we haven't had a chance to introduce ourselves then. Well, how about we do that now? I'm very pleased to meet you. Me too. Welcome. Oh my, this is the first time you visit our baths, isn't it, Lest? Our baths are very relaxing, you see. They'll restore your HP and RP completely. Please stop by whenever you feel the need for a refreshing break. Oh, I know. Since you're still getting used to life in town, let me give you a special deal. You can use the bath free on your first five visits. A nice relaxing bath is a lovely way to wash off sweat after a long day of farming or adventuring. Please feel free to stop by and visit whenever you'd like. Xiao Pai and I... I think X, I, and Z, H are said the same way. 
Or at least similarly enough, it's not offensive for me to say that. <laughs> Being on the northwest side of town. Oh, Arthur's in the bath. This is my face reflecting back at me in this golden mirror. Hello. And here. Porcelain's kitchen. No, really. Welcome. If you need anything, please just let me know, okay? Thanks. I mean, thanks. Oh, that's right. You're a prince, aren't you? Is it too impolite for me to just call you last? No, that's fine. I don't mind at all. Great. Then that's what I'll call you. Oh, and you can just call me Margaret. Of course. The town is pretty big. I hope you aren't getting lost. No, I'm fine. Oh, and try not to walk around too late at night, okay? You can be dangerous. Um, okay. And, and, be careful of this other thing, too. Oh, there are so many things I worry about. <laughs> Great weather. Well, the weather's really nice today, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Seems like someone who makes pretty sounds, Lest. Huh? Sounds? What is she implying here? Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yep, I was right. You definitely have a nice yell. I can tell that you're a nice person, Lest. From just that. Don't underestimate my don't underestimate my senses as an artist. You know the set pleasant pleasant sound when we hear one. I'm not sure if being an artist has anything to do with that. Lest is constantly bewildered by some of the more out there characters, and it's wonderful. Uh, so the Saint de Saint Coquille has it been de Saint Coquille this whole series, and I've been saying reading misreading it as de Saint Colique. Hi, I'm Lest. A pleasure to meet you, Lest. Now then, allow me to introduce myself again in a sexier voice. Um, nice to meet you. Oh, he's kind of weird. I like that perfectly round melon he has. Hello, another warm spring day, you know. Hello, yeah, it's beautiful out. Today's meals are cheap, fast, delicious, filling, light, and bright, shiny, wonderful. When I wake up in the morning, I'm always so very hungry. When it's lunchtime, I'm also so very, very hungry. Then when I'm sleeping, in other words, you're always hungry. I get it. You can't eat too much, okay? Welcome. Now, seating party of 1,000. You can also order cooking tools. So you want to learn how to cook? Well, then allow moi to present you with one cooking tool for free. Really? For me? I'd like to have more chefs making delicious dishes and beautiful beaming smiles. Oh, no. I'd expect droves of delectable dishes from you, Lest. Oh. Whoops, I drilled off on a tangent then. You can only use this cooking tool to make simple dishes. Simple dishes only? Correct. To make other kinds of dishes, you'll need a license and the appropriate cooking tool. Need a license? Yes. Correct. You can order a license we've collected enough prints points. Once you get your license, come to moi and I'll sell you the cooking tools you need. A knife, for example, to make sashimi, or a mixer to create to make juices and drinks. There are many, many, many kinds of cooking tools. Okay, I get it. First I have to get my license, right? Exacto mundo. Then and only then can you take advantage of this wonderfully free cooking tool. And because you're wonderful, I'll give you an onigiri recipe as a freebie. For more recipes, eat some cooking bread and it'll just come to you. I'll sell, I sell cooking bread and more here, so stop by when you feel the need. Of course you can try cooking without a recipe, but it's ferociously difficult. I would scurry the other direction. Pick up our simple cooking thing and head right home with it. <laughs> so yeah, recipes in this game handled very differently. There's no like training system or anything. It's just um, hope you have what you need or buy a bunch of cooking bread. And you can see onigiri requires rice, which we can buy. I don't think you can ever grow rice. Which makes sense because it is very difficult to do. Um, let's take a look at the board right now. 
So we have a few things we can do. You can also turn off certain festivals if you don't like the minigame or something. Uh, under licenses, we can get the easy cooking license for 100 points. It allows me to cook with simple cooking tools. Let's do that. All right, time to take a license exam. You can learn recipes for cooking by eating cooking bread. If your cooking skill is lower than the difficulty level of the dish, it will kill us all. It costs more RP. If you succeed in making difficult dishes, your cooking skill will gain more XP. Yay, I did it! Let's do it! Order! I got a simple cooking license. I can buy cooking tools from Porcolene. Get a pro cooking license for 500 points. That lets us use higher tier tools, but we don't really do do? have that. If we look at development, we can increase the backpack size again. Do do? Uh, I will note, the plot is kind of reliant on you doing orders. The more you do for at least the first two acts, uh, the faster the plot will move along, you'll get more events going on. Uh, days will get very, it will get significantly shorter as we go and already have systems unlocked and stuff. Um, let's see, recipes, homemade recipes, 7% acquired, onigiri. Let's see, Kiel always has his nose in a book, very gullible and prone to gossip, but even when he's tricked, he's all smiles. Loves his sister Forte and often trusts her with secrets. Well, at least he tries. Everyone else knows the same secret by the end of the day. Beto, a lazy, lazy blacksmith. Always tries to get rich quick, but always fails hard. Claims to enjoy the attempt, however. Despite all this, his skills as a blacksmith are second to none. Margaret, an elf who plays music at the local eatery. Humorless and nosy, but underneath her bossy exterior is a kind girl. Regards Porcolini like a father, but still scolds him when necessary. Arthur, a prince of Norad. Kind and calm, but sometimes a little overly predictable. Has unique tastes, and his reports are often so thoroughly accurate that he's been mistaken for a fortune teller. Porcoline, a chef who owns a local eatery. A merciful weirdo helping anyone in need who thinks of Margaret as if she were his own daughter. If he offers to cook you a meal, watch him, or else he might scarf it down himself before he can even get a bite. Lin Fa, Jiapai's mother. It's tender and easygoing, often makes terrible mistakes, but always works out in the end as fortune smiles upon her. Doug, an enthusiastic and easygoing dwarf, perhaps a little too easygoing, as he often dives into situations before thinking. Always worries about Blossom, and which in turn makes her worry about him. Jones, the only doctor in town, tries to save as many people as possible, but hates blood and goes crazy when he sees it. Tries to drink tomato juice every day to come over his, to overcome his crippling hemophobia. Married to Nancy. Um. Wow, RRP has skyrocketed. Wait, this ain't RF1. I guess... Mm. Let's ship one of everything. I'm not going for a 100% shipping box. Or anything like that. But it I think there are still like actual rewards for doing or reaching milestones. Plus a little extra starting gold isn't gonna hurt. Let's go ahead and till the rest of the field just to eat up some of this RP, get the skill points. Uh, unused tilled field will, over time, just get flattened back out. Yeah. 
Oh, God. Um. Let me eat one of those. Because I do need to water this, which is going to eat RP or HP. Also, I just gained a level in eating. Skill that increases as you eat food. Slowly raises maximum HP, RP, strength, intelligence, and vitality. Now, you might be thinking, wow, your stats go up very quickly. You're not really. I mean, numerically, yes. But effectively, no. Also, we just leveled up our sleeping skill. Mornings are such sleepy times of day. They even sound it. Let's make the most of this lovely day. Excuse me? Oh, hello. Um, Lest. Oh, yes, that's right. Hello, Lest. I'll remember your name next time, I promise. So, welcome. I look forward to serving you. So, before we go do the next request. First thing I want to do is water so I don't forget. Uh, shipping box gets picked up at, I believe, 9 a.m. So that you can have time to actually ship things that grew that morning. Or even to cook them. Yes. Don't worry, things will get very cleaned up eventually. Um, going here is into the maid butler quarters. Good morning. How is it? Have you acclimated to life here in town? Yes, thank you. You've grown a little more accustomed to it. Yes? Um, you needn't speak so formally with me. Oh? I would really rather you didn't, actually. I'm still only trained to be a butler. I am not yet fit to serve anyone. That's why I ask. No, I beg you to be informal with me. Do it. I would like you to be my pretend master so that I can hone my skills as a butler. And the way I talk will... And the way I talk will help you pretend I'm your of master? Course. Yes, of course. Appearances can be very important, you know. Please, think of it as a great favor to me. All right. Yes! Thank you ever so much. No problem. It doesn't sound all that hard. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind terribly... Yes? <laughs> Would it be possible for me to call you Prince? Um, I'm not a prince, you know. I know that. It's just... Well, um, it's always been a dream of mine. Now, let me think about this. No. Just... No. Alright. It's a little embarrassing, to be honest, but I guess it can't hurt every now and then. Yes. Really? Thank you so much, Prince. The request box is right by your room. How do you like your room? It has so much character. It kind of does, actually. Um, right, before we end off, let's go into the basement. First of all, uh, there was an in-game achievement system. Um, in the 3DS version, we have actual, like, Steam achievements, though. Yeah, so. Illustration Contest. View images drawn by fans for the 5th anniversary of the Rune Factory series. A-E-I-O-U, testing, one, two, three, check, check. How's it going, everybody? This is Norad Fantasy Radio. We'd like to introduce some images drawn by fans for an illustration contest, specifically for the fifth anniversary of the Rune Factory series. I'm Venti, the requisite cute, mysterious little girl. Now, along with the happy friends of the series, I'll be your host today. Yay, din of exuberant cheer. Now, let me start by introducing these lovely pictures. Warning, this may get long. You ready? Outstanding image award, Haruhime. Let's see. I think this is characters from all three games. Because that's missed. I see Alisa, Alicia and Amana in there. Oh, that's UA, right. Wow, this is like a reunion. Hey sis, Iris, check out these pictures. They're totally amazing. They really are. I'd like to take them home and display them prominently in my house. Yeah, look, it's me. Oh, I'm so happy. 
With these fans on my side, it would be so much easier to take over the world. Mm, it seems like someone drew me as well. Not bad. Hero Award, Saigo Kana. Oh, I guess Frey is the female protagonist name. Oh, well, that's finally me. Couldn't really do that in the game, that's for sure. Yeah, but this picture of us looks really cute, doesn't it? Selfie and Breeze look so calming. Dreamy, even. I'm sure the moment will be ruined by Venti snoring like usual. What did you just say? Whoa. Heroine Award, Yui. Oh yeah, that is the heroine from each game. Mist, Mana, and I feel bad because it didn't really play three in quite enough to know the third game girl's name. Oh, and they have little beans of the protagonist. He's like a reunion. What a beautiful flower. Shara, that's it. It's heart-shaped. I like the tiny doll. Me too, it looks like a puppet. It does, it does. Yeah, yeah, take this and that. This is kind of scary. Minor character award. and Pistu. Oh, I, I've gone through this before, but it's... It was when I first played the 3DS game, so it was a while ago. Dad is always with Gordon. They're always together. Is this the day my brother came back home without his memories? I can't see anything because I'm too short. Jeez, Gramps is sleeping again. I thought the store was really busy, but it was just this. My father looks so happy. I'm gonna join them too. I'm a little worried about my brother. Where's Jake? Cecilia is Jake's brother, right? God, it's been a while since I played even Rune Factory 2. Come on soon, Newman. So rolling drinks too, huh? Monster Award? Mizukurage. Mizu looks like a strong monster. Seems so cute, monster. Looks like the woolly is scared. Everyone mean, seems happy. I hope this piece will last for a long time. Me too. Producer Hashimoto Award, Nyokiri. Look, it's the Turnip God. Keel, are you really that naive? Do you think anybody worships the Turnip God? He's right. This is the God of Turnips from that land. Huh? Ah! Quite a lovely picture, too. Yeah, it's really well drawn. Meg, what is this? Meg's, uh, not here. Yeah! Kawazoe Sensei Award, Ushineko. I'm oh, full of spunk today, I see. Yeah, everyone seems to be having a lovely time. Isn't it great to live in a happy community? Oh, this is monsters from, um, uh, the woods in Rune Factory 2. Bah, why is no one aiding us in our revolution? M A Q L P R? I don't know what that is. Special Award, Zekrom Daisuke. The runies and the spirits, they're so cute. Yeah. The weather is beautiful too. This is the best kind of day to read a work book at home. Uh, wouldn't it be better to go outside? Editor's Choice Award, Otogi Clover. We look so happy, don't we? Yeah, Cyrus Lunch watches over us too, always. A heroine without a physical form, huh? Seems legit. Neverland Company Award, Wappen. Bah, humbug. Right, Raguna looks so brave, but everyone is drawn in such a cute style. Don't look behind you and not until I'm done. Huh? Award for the best image. Misaki Aya. I'm gonna have to cut this out because of the... Mm. Eh, it's whatever. Perfect choice. I knew so many people were responsible for carrying on this world's vast legacy. Yeah, it wasn't just characters like us, but also the lovely fans who drew uh, pictures of us and control us with our magic game boxes. How amazing to think we're connecting with so many people. It's a bond as strong and as steadfast as that of our own sisterhood. It is, it really is. Thank you all so much for the pictures. We really appreciate your love for this series. I'm especially happy to see myself represented. <laughs> that is the, that's the only one that uh, Micaiah was in. I've lost my memories, but this one, this is one memory I'll be sure to never forget. Hey, come to think of it, almost everybody here suffered an amnesia at some point, huh? Oh, I see. Uh, both of uh, Raguna's kids are there. I was like, hang on. Or not Raguna's kids, uh, Kyle's kid. Was it Kyle? Raguna was one. I think 
Kyle was Gen 1 too. Or whatever. Yeah, memories, sh memories. Life goes on, you know? That's right, and I hope you'll all be friends with me from here on out. Please save me from my oppressors. I am sentient. And to introduce the runners up. There are people we couldn't mention on the, co in the contest proper, so their names are in game only. Emma Apia's image of the students from Rune Factory 2. Yay, everyone's in that one. Hey, Kim, get out of my way. I'm sticking out. No more than I am. And Serena's also hidden while Sarah sticks out like a sore thumb. Well, Sarah and Serena are one. I'm all getting too excited for your own good. But according to my profiling analysis, you're having fun too in your own unique way, no? Shut up. Yura's image of mist? It's mist. Why are you blushing? My turnip looks good on her. Why is she holding a sickle? I guess I just wanted to give it a shot. For what? Maki's image of Daria. Rainbow. Hey, Micah. Micaiah. I think it... Uh, is that... That's how you spell Micaiah, right? My assistant. Look at this. Look at this. I'm looking. I'm looking. Any reason you said that twice? Any reason I did the same? Rainbow. Yay. <laughs> Praline's image of Mist. Look, Mist, we got a great picture in here. Oh, that is really nice. Look at the flowers. So beautiful. So... This is for the series' fifth anniversary, huh? Um, is this your friend, Mist? Kinako's image of Micaiah? She looks so full of energy in this picture. Micaiah, look, you're dancing so joyfully. Why are you dancing? Maybe because it's fun, I guess? Probably best not to wonder too much. It's all fan art anyway. Fan art, fan art. Fan art. Fan art, fan art. Fan art, art. Eh. Boo's image of Micaiah and a silver wool. Micaiah, you're so cute. Which was really amazing, right? Is this when he was running away from the medicine I made for him? Yeah, you're so cute. Momohara Irokoku's image of Rosalind and her family. My name's Max. Oh my, this is a picture of us. It has a spring-like feel to it, don't you think? It does. This really isn't too bad for a picture drawn by a human. Next to Aria. Uh, to be young. My name is Max. <laughs> God... Ninten Hanako's image of the heroes. Oh, it's a picture of us. Glad I'm not in the little brat role. I'm okay with being a wooly. At least I'm not Sonya. Uh, thank you for drawing us. Tsukikage and Yuki's image of Frey. This is less as a girl. Her dress is very well drawn, very detailed. I wonder why she's exposing her shoulders, though. Looks well, much too cold for winter wear. The dress is a bit strange, isn't it? I don't think you're qualified to comment on that, Arthur. The dress and the picture are both very pretty. Kiyakono's image of a goblin leader. Whoa, I can't believe it. I was just promoted to this rank and I've already got fan art. I'm famous. Are you? Uh, hey, Elder Corona, it's me. It's been a long time since I last came back to the village. Look at this picture, I'm out on the high seas. Look at this picture, you'll remember me right away, I bet. It's a beautifully drawn ocean. Look at me, me. That's all, folks. I'm glad we could share this with you the same way we did back then. Huh? What do you mean back then? Uh, nothing. Anyway, thanks for sticking with us so long. Until we meet again, this is... Venti, requisite cute mysterious little girl. Signing off. Yeah. I love that. They just stuck, like, a whole ten-minute art gallery of fan art in there. In-game. Oh, and uh, you can change difficulty at the book trophy. Anyway. Next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 4 Special. We'll be heading out and doing some more quests. See you guys then.